Hey guys, welcome to Protocol Orders Point. Okay, so this is the ninth part of our tutorial on creating S3 bucket-like service by making use of Node.js. Okay, so in this part, we are going to work on creating an API that will list out all the files that exist in a particular folder that is a bucket. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so in our previous tutorial, we have created three APIs. One is to create a bucket. One is to list out all the buckets and one is to upload a file in a particular bucket. Okay, so now in this tutorial, we are going to create an API that will uh, list out all the files that exist in a particular bucket. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so over here, let's create one more route. Okay, so the route will be of type get method. Okay, so here I have created a request res uh, response function that will be helped in getting the requested data and responding back to the front end or any from where this has been called. Okay, so here I will just attach a middleware for our user authentication that we have created in our previous tutorial. Okay, so our API is ready. So we need to add a functionality to list out all the files in a particular folder. Okay, so here uh, from the front end, we need to accept one parameter from the user that uh, from which directory uh, he want to list out all the files. For example, in request.body, he need to the user need to send from which uh, folder he want to get the data. Okay, so for example, here is a subfolder two. So in request body dot file name, uh, he must enter subfolder two. Okay, so here const. So I will just name it as bucket name. Okay, and here we must also include uh, validation. Suppose if the user do not send any bucket name, uh, then we must show a proper message to the user. So return response.json. Okay, so now if a user do not send any bucket name that he want to list out all the files of a particular bucket, then here I'm just showing a message that uh, please provide a bucket name. Okay, so let me add a try and catch block over here. Okay, so now over here, uh, we must uh, create a variable that will hold the direct directory path. So let's name it as directory path is equal to uh, path dot join. Okay, so here uh, we need we must enter a root folder. Okay, and the directory from which the user want to list out all the files that exist in a particular directory. Okay, so here bucket name. Okay, so as you can see over here, so we have a root folder. So inside this root folder, there are sub directories. Okay, so root folder and the sub directory from which a user is willing to uh, get the list of all the files. Okay. So this is the path and here for the path I have imported a path uh, model over here. Okay, so to, so now to read a files from a particular folder, we can make use of a fx library with read directory uh, function. So fx dot read directory. So this is the function that we are going to make use of. Okay, so here it accepts two parameters. One is the directory path. Okay, so from where the user is willing to get the data and another is the callback function. So here, so here in this uh, callback function, we'll, we will have all the data of the, uh, of this file. For example, if a user is willing to get the data from subdirectory, so in this file, there will be a list of files name that exist in this folder. Okay. Okay, so now over here in this file, we will have an array of list of files that exist in a particular folder. Okay, so we need to iterate to all the files and we need to check if it is actually a file or a directory. Okay, so for that we can make use of a function called as filter uh, that comes with array package. Okay, so it is an inbuilt function. Okay, so what we can do is we can just create a variable all files is equal to files dot filter okay so here in this file uh, the files will contain uh, each object that will loop so it will work as a loop okay so this file will contain each file and we need to check if the file is actually a file or a directory okay so we can do it over here okay so over here const file path is equal to path dot join 
directive path and here we need to join this file okay so now this uh, variable will contain a whole path of this file for example root folder subdirectory 2 and the file name so this will contain the path of this file okay so now here we need to check if this file is actually a file or a directory okay so for that written fs dot that string file path okay so here it has a function to check if it is a file or no so we can make use of is file function okay so if this path if this file is for the example this if is if this file is a uh, file then this will return true or else it will just it do not return anything to this variable okay so now we can just uh, return back the result to our front end so response dot json status true all files okay so now let's run this and check if it is working or no okay and we can just return one more thing over here status true and we can just send a message message that no files found okay now let's run this and check okay. so let me open my postman Okay, so let me take this URL, get method, so the API name is get all files, okay, and here there is no need to pass this query, okay, so in body tag, raw data, JSON, we need to find the, buck, uh, send a bucket name, so bucket name is a folder name, okay, so folder 1. API key so API key is being stored in our mongodb database to check if this uh, user is valid or no okay so let me hit and check okay so it is saying no files found okay so let's check folder sub sub folder one okay so let me remove this thing and check okay so it is showing a file been found okay so let me check this for a folder 2 okay send so you can see i'm getting the files that exist in subfolder 2 okay so let me check other another file okay so here we have pdf file and a, PA, a jpg file okay so let's check that subfolder 3 so you can see this is how we can list out all the files that exist in a particular folder okay so let me try to solve this so if uh, if there is no files been found then we need to respond something to the user okay so we can do it something like okay so i can just add a if statement over here so if all files if there is nothing means if it is if the all files parameter is null then we can just respond to the user that no files exist okay so now let's check if it, this is working okay so here so ah yeah so in rajat temp there is no file so let's check if it is working or no so it is returning this thing okay so here it is just showing an empty array so what i can do is i can just uh, check if the length of this array is uh, zero so i can do a length if it is equal to equal to zero then resp uh, return this response okay so let me run this again okay so now let's check okay so now you can see it is showing no file found okay okay so let's check again yeah so now it is returning the file okay so that's all for this video tutorial thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol as point thank you